scary horror phenomena are a lot less straightforward than monsters. It's also kind of a wide topic, so uh, this video will be more of me just uh, sharing some ideas and rambling about than my other videos usually are already. Strange phenomena and monsters are not completely separate. Sometimes one begets the other and some other times the lines are a bit blurry where the monster ends and the phenomena begins. Take your standard zombie apocalypse for example. An apocalypse caused by a deadly viral disease would be bad enough on its own. But also the dead come to rise, bringing your monster element. Or a ghost story. Depending on how you run the ghost story, it is less about the ghost itself and more about the haunting. Or take the evil from the evil dead. It is uh, just an incorporeal force that somehow completely evil, but it also turns people and things into monsters and there you get your monster part. There is a certain synergy here. With a uh, supernatural scary phenomena, you can enhance your monsters, make them more than just angry giant badgers that eat people into something that is really outlandish and scary. And by adding a monster to your phenomena, you uh, add a physical, a physical component and threat that your PCs can fight against. So what makes a strange phenomenon scary and horrible? It probably starts with fear of the unknown. If you encounter a strange, unexplainable phenomena, even if it doesn't really do anything, it uh, shakes you up because you can't fit it into how you think the world works. And you can't really tell if it might be dangerous or not. And that alone is unsettling for most people. And if the phenomena also plays into another primal fear, it becomes even scarier. If maybe the phenomenon is a zone and in that zone there is no light, not even if you bring it in, it's just complete darkness. Then it plays into a fear of the dark. And if the phenomena poses a threat of injury and harm to both body and soul, that becomes really scary. There is an episode of Star Trek where people just start vanishing from the Enterprise and uh, no one remembers them. There's no entrance on the computer. It's as if they have never existed and only Dr. Crusher remembers that they were there. So in the beginning you would be uncertain if it is you, if you are losing your mind. But when half of the ship's crew has vanished, it becomes a race for survival to find out and stop whatever is causing this. In The Color Out of Space by H.P. Lovecraft, something uh, crashes into a farmstead and it starts corrupting and slowly killing everything around it. Or in Event Horizon, the uh, horrible events that happen on that spaceship are caused because the ship flew through 
literal hell itself. So how do we use horrible phenomena in our games? You could use them as a plot hook for the characters to get involved. I uh, once played a game of Call of Cthulhu and uh, we were called to a mining operation because uh, workers there started getting sick and no one knew what was causing this illness, what it actually was. And so we were brought in to investigate and we found out that they were actually getting radiation poisoning and there was a uh, crashed alien spaceship involved in the end. You could use your phenomena just as set dressing for your adventure location without necessarily having to elaborate on it. Maybe uh, your adventure is set in a village that is just constantly shrouded in a thick fog that swallows sound. So when the PCs go there, they can't see very far, they can't hear very far. And that just complicates everything they do in this village adding a further level of stress they have to deal with. You can of course use these phenomena together with your monsters. Either the monsters cause the phenomena or the phenomena spawns the monsters like in Stephen King's The Fork. If you want to solely focus on the phenomena, you have to put a bit more thought into it to make it interesting to play. The phenomena should be severe enough that the PCs want to investigate and stop it, but not so severe the only option is to flee. Your phenomena has also to allow for a certain variation in scenes, so it doesn't become boring too quickly. And finally, you need to uh, have an actual reason for the phenomena to appear, something that your PCs can work against and stop. If they find out that the phenomena is just there and there's nothing they can do, that would be very frustrating. So give them something, a monster, an item, a magic portal, something they can uh, fight and stop. That's uh, all of my thoughts on this topic for the moment. So. Uh, what kind of scary phenomena have you used in your games and how did the players react to that? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.